Hi, I'm Christina Hutchinson. And I'm Corinne Fisher. And we're going to give you advice in a segment that we call... Did, Did that help? help? Did it help? Did it help at all? You, I hope it helped. We're very underqualified. Oh. <laughs> okay, so sex workers are my boyfriend's kink. How do I include that without him cheating more? <laughs> <laughs> cheating more? Girl. I mean, break up with this person. Yeah, if what? you want, if you want to be sexually monogamous and Jesus he's like, Christ. sure, but then he hires sex workers to have sex with, that you broke the contract. Right. Uh, what if, I mean, the, the thing that came to my mind is you role play a sex worker. You meet at a hotel, you wear a trench coat. I mean, if you want to get real hacky with it, um, and maybe like nip slip or something at the bar. Yeah. Um, there was a scene about that on uh, many forms of television and movies, but the one I could think about right now is Modern Family. Ooh. <laughs> and also like that could be beneficial to you. I'd be like, mm, that'll be $300. And like make him pay you. Yeah. And uh, then keep it. Wait. Yeah. You just got a new part-time job, but it's just having sex with your boyfriend. Yeah. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> um, let's see. My now husband said, I don't know why we got married. Th that was in quotes. Uh, the night of our wedding and six months later, I still can't let it go. What should I do? Oh, girl, that's a conversation. Yeah. Well, it depends on the tone, you know, because it's like. Oh man, I don't know why we got married. That's like kooky, fun, oh, you know. Yeah, or wild. like society's weird. Yeah. Or it's like I don't know why we got married. That yeah, haunting. That's, mm, you got a peace. I yeah. mean, that's obviously have a conversation about it, but I don't think that conversation is going to lead to anything productive. Yeah, and like I you, that like there's instances of things that you should let go, and that's not one of them. <laughs> so, yeah, you are right to hold on to that. Yeah, like really harbor that in your heart. That's where it belongs. Sometimes I think of harsh thoughts towards a person I'm seeing and then I'm like Ugh. you know you let him float by and maybe he just let that one escape his mouth but that's a big one I mean it's just so it's just it's such a knock against everything that your relationship is built upon and, and the night of your wedding no like sure. come on that's a burn <laughs> yeah sick burn husband yeah yeah and, and now we got this marriage that we have to but follow-up question were you being kind of a bitch tonight <laughs> oh did you ask for it <laughs> were you asking for did it? did you have it coming did that help